Hey guys, Kevin here from Aurora's Apothecary. I think we're on day 24 of the lockdown. I'm down in my workroom. Uh, it's down in the basement of the manor. If anybody's been here, you know what I mean. If not, whatever. We got a lot of stuff down here. This is like my woodworking area. So what I've been doing to keep myself occupied is building raised garden beds because we grow plants and then make medicines and body products from them and sell them to you. So I'm going to show you my newest uh, raised bed. Down, I'm down in my work, woodworking room, down in the basement of the manor. This is what I've been working on for the last two days. I still got a little bit to go. I'm about 95% done. I got to do some touch up paint down there. Uh, so this is our newest raised bed. This is all just scrap wood I had around the house. These are pallets on the end that I tore apart. Let's see if I can get a good view of this. So it's two foot wide, foot and a half deep. And we're gonna grow root herbs in here. So you can look, see it looks old timey, barn, barn red paint. I had some of that laying around. So those are just pallets that I tore apart and then some other wood that I had laying here. And it's about waist high. So we'll be able to work and dig out the roots real easily. And it's eight feet long, two feet wide capped on each end. I got drain holes drilled in there and some cracks between the boards. These old pallet boards are killed drying. Most of them are hardwood so they'll stand up to the outside weather. That's why I didn't paint those. They're gonna be fine and if not I can tear them off and replace them with some other junk pallets that I find laying around. No big deal right? So I just built a little framework and put in a floor. So now we'll be able to waste time, walk up, do some gardening. I got two more I'm building that are going to be completely different than this one. But it's keeping me occupied, out of trouble. Hope you enjoy. This is where uh, Solomon Seal will be growing. So we'll be planting that real soon. Next week the weather's supposed to get better. And we'll be back out in the garden. So I'm just getting ready for that time to be back out in the garden. All right, thanks, guys. Hey, everybody. This is my next project. So this is going to be two uh, four by eight by 20 inch tall raised beds that will be going out in the garden. These are going to be my vegetable ones. Typically, all we grow is herbs. I'm going to grow some vegetables. So these are unpretreated. I got some like. Uh, weed barrier to put down under them and then we're going to fill them with dirt. Uh, we'll be going out behind the garage. That's where my tomatoes and cucumbers and all that fun stuff will be. So I'll show you the process how I built these. Uh, they should be pretty simple but the way everything goes they probably won't be. So fingers crossed. Alright guys now I'm on to this project. So I have two by 10 by 8 foot longs, two of them there, and then I cut one in half. So I drilled some pilot holes on the end of the boards so they can screw together without cracking. And I'm just screwing this all together right now. Now I'm going to make another one and put it directly on top of this one. So it'll go directly on top of there, and then I have some 4 by 4s I'm going to put in the corner to tie it all together. So I'll have an 8 foot by 4 foot bed by 20 inches tall. So it should be a good sitting height once I put the top rail on. So you can sit there and work in the garden real easily. All right, and I'll show you the next step once I get to it. All right, here I got two of them stacked. So this is going to be their final height. Uh, they are 8 foot long, 4 foot wide, and 20 inches tall. I just got to put some four by fours in each of the corners and then in the center for bracing uh, and then I'm going to put a top rail on so we can sit on there and relax and enjoy the gardening and like who wants to stand up working all the time right so just out in the garage I drilled pilot holes 
before I put in the screws, I always do that. Otherwise, you're going to crack your boards. It's going to be more headaches for you. Uh, this is a pretty easy project. You don't have to be super crafty. I just cut two ends and four feet. Uh, it all kind of worked out. So I'll show you the next step. Close it about 19 inches so they would stay under just a little bit. I'm going to screw them in yet on this end. The other end screwed in down there. Then we'll just uh, put some weed barrier down under it. Mulch around it and fill it with dirt. So, it's a raised bed. I'd say each one cost about $75 to build, including your screws and the lumber. I'm not going to treat them, I'm just going to leave them raw. That is just raw pine boards. My older ones have been in there at least five years and they look great still. So I ain't too worried about the rot. We do everything organically, so there we are. Here's the other one that needs to be put together. My golf cart. We're gonna do some fixing to that thing pretty soon, put some pinstripes on it, maybe some flames, make it a little more interesting taken up north so I think I'm just about done for the day got a couple more boards to cut and then I'm gonna call it quits thanks guys all right so this is the framework I'm gonna put the uh, strawberry beds on so it's just more junk I think we found this at the dump looks like it used to be a rack of some sort so I'm going to fasten the strawberry uh, beds on this side of it. Right now I'm going to paint it and make it look a little better. Try to give it a little more longer of a life. And show you the rest I started painting this. I'm just using a rattle can. Doesn't have to be fancy. This is what it looks like here before. And after. Alright, let's just see it when it's done. Alright everybody, here's today's project. I found this old pipe down in my basement just sitting here taking up space. So what I'm going to do is slice it in half and then make each section about four feet long and drill holes in it and it's going to be a strawberry bed. So I'll take you along on that adventure, just some old junk laying in my basement and we're going to use it to grow some stuff. So, all right, hope you enjoy. So here you can see I cut the pipe in half. Um, and then I drilled some holes in it to let the water drain. And now the end cap's got to be made. So what I'm doing is I found a scrap board. I'm going to cut out these little half circles. Put it in the end and screw them in. So really, this whole project is going to cost me nothing. So I'll be able to grow strawberries right in there. All right, I'll keep you up to date. So I'm working on my second half. See, I marked off where I'm going to drill my holes. I use my pretty big drill bit. Make some holes in there, and then I got another whole pipe to cut in half. We'll see how it works out. I don't know if I'm going to leave this big connector on there or cut it out. I ain't sure yet. We'll see. If I cut it out, then this pipe's only three feet long instead of the four. So I think I wanted four or four footers. Right, I put my ends in. I just cut some scrap wood. Put some ends in there so the dirt don't flush out on either end. And I'm going to drill some drain holes. Okay. Here we are, I got the strawberry bed all built and put into place. So I painted all the boards red, black gutter, well, PVC pipe. It's in place. That is right next to our outside kitchen, outside sink for washing roots. And then I added a couple shelves so we could work on stuff or store stuff here. Right now I'm mixing up some dirt 
and some peat moss. Now I'm going to fill the strawberry bed. Sorry about the lighting. It's really bright out here today. So I got some Premier peat moss. Picked it up for 15 bucks at the hardware store. And I'm just mixing it with some normal dirt I got here. And cheap dirt you can pick up. So, there's the strawberry beds. Drilled little holes in the bottom. Some old PVC pipe that I had in the basement. This rack. With something just kind of sitting out in the yard here, not doing much good. So I added some shelving. There's my compost bins my uh, rainwater catchment system so you can see the green hose there it feeds all my other barrels to my beds here I just finished all this we mulched so we started with a log there and that's my raspberries up against my building Eventually there won't be any more grass left. There's all my mulch I have to move. So as this mulch breaks down, it creates new soil under it. And we're on like a clay bed here. So we get nice mulch in the meantime and then eventually it'll be good topsoil. So there it is, the strawberry bed. There we got my soil mixed with the peat moss. It is super loose. It's going to be perfect for growing the strawberries in. Nice shallow beds. Vertical, out of the way. I put a little bit of liner in the bottom of the pipe. So you can see it. It's like uh, underlayment for walkways and stuff. The water will bleed through it. But then my little holes in the bottom shouldn't clog off. The dirt won't get clogged in there. Look at that, got a worm in living in there already. Where to go? Yeah, did you see him? That's the worm living in there. Whee! Excited. We got four rows. It's gonna be a lot of strawberries. I didn't fill them completely. We got to put the strawberries in yet, and that'll take up some space. I'm gonna clean the dirt off. I spilled some dirt on the little work surface back here. Give a little tour of the backyard. There's my bridge. Over there, I got some lilacs. It's the garden bed. <laughs> Angelica will be growing. See, it's starting to come up there. That's my dehydrator shed. I got more beds over there. It's all herbs we're looking at, guys. We only grow a little bit of vegetables. Here we got garlic coming up. Uh, but we're going to be doing some changing here this week. I built this this week. This is a raised shade bed. It's not fully in the sun. It's hidden behind the garage here. Got a little bit of peat moss on top of there. I gotta mix in. Make this soil super nice. So, Alright, thanks for joining.